so we understand about how to create a function now let's understand about the non keyword argument and the keyword argument so let's take one example let's create one function and we'll get idea about the argument and the key value argument so how actually we can, we can create a function a def we have to write i'm creating one function name as a adder and after that we have to pass the parameter this parameter is nothing but a, this is a argument so suppose i am passing three argument a b and the c now what actually i want to do i want to return i want to do a sum return a plus b plus c so this is the function i have created what this will do this will do the sum of a plus b plus c how actually i can call if i write adder and 3 plus 4 plus 5 if i do i will get the output it will do the sum of this 3 plus 4 plus 5 and i am getting the output now suppose i want to do a sum only plus 3 and 4 now in this case if i execute this you can see i am getting a error adder missing one required positional argument c so you can see here i am doing a hard coding like it should contain the three argument a b and c but suppose only i have to add this three and four then it is giving me error you have to pass the third element also so in a real time also we are not sure like how many argument we should pass to create a function during the creation of the function we are not sure so what we can use we can use a non keyword arguments to solve this problem suppose i will create the same function once again so what i will give i will give the name as a add, adder so previously i was passing a uh, a b c right so instead of passing that what actually i can use i can use a non keyword argument so what actually i am writing star and arcs i am writing and uh, what i will write i will write a code which will do a sum so i will create one um, variable first what i will do i will loop for i in this arcs we have passed right and a plus equal i and we will return a return a what actually it will do it will so my function is ready what actually it will do whatever the argument it will pass it will do the sum so my function is ready right now suppose i want to do a sum of two elements three four and if i'll execute i am getting the output seven now suppose i want to do add of five six seven eight seven and if i'll execute it will do a sum of this all means previously we were doing a hard coding right a b c only the three argument instead of hard coding what actually we can do we can use a non keyword argument so here we have given the name args but you can give any name suppose i want to give the name as a num star num so in this case what actually happen for i in num you have to pass and if you will execute this will work in the similar way so if you don't know how many argument that will pass into your function add a star before the parameter name in a function so if you don't know how many arguments should pass you can use a star and you can give any the parameter name and that's how actually you can use so that is for the non keyword argument so what is a keyword argument that is a second one star args we were using whenever you have a value in the form of tuple but this uh, no keyword argument suppose you have a you are passing an argument that is in the form of a dictionary key value pair then you will use a keyword argument so let's create one uh, function i will create one function naming something and uh, i will pass the pass the we have to represent with the double star and we have to write the name you can write any parameter name i am writing this what i will do i will loop it because this is in the key value pair right because in the form of the dictionary we use a this uh, keyword arguments so what i will write for key value in this what i will do i will print key and well how actually we loop uh, dictionary dot items so it will so both right key was dot item now my function is now ready so suppose how actually i can call if i write naming uh, suppose i will call the name equal to the monies and uh, i will call another name as a, a surname surname equal to the tiwari and uh, age equal to the 28 like that the multiple key value i can pass now if i execute this you can see it is printing the key and the value whatever actually key and whatever the value i am passing it is actually printing because we have written a code like print key and the value so star arg non keyword argument so when you are not sure like how many argument you should pass then you will go for the star argument 
and when to use a keyword argument whenever you want uh, your input like that should be in the form of the dictionary you can see we are passing a value in the form of the key value pair right then we go for the keyword argument by the name itself you can understand keyword argument means it is a key value pair whatever the argument it will contain right that will be in the form of the key value in the form of a dictionary so i hope you got the idea this is important please do practice